In our special report, reporter Patrick Chin went to Bukit Asik, located in the heart of Cebu, which will see BN, DAP and STAR fighting for the hot seat. Most businesses and companies in Cebu are concentrated in the Bukit Asik constituency. This is considered the central business district in Cebu, with some 28,000 voters. Dr. Faisal Haziz, who is familiar with the Merdeka Centre survey on the voting patterns in Sarawak, feels that voters will still continue to support DAP because they felt the economic situation has not improved much in Bukit Asik. Most of the voters work in the private sectors, own their own businesses, or even work in uh, a lot of uh, the companies. Economic concerns would be uh, the number one issues. And also the lack of employment. So people are moving away from Cebu. Based on the survey and the study done by Merdeka Centre, despite Adnan's popularity, you don't really see a big shift in terms of their voting. Bukit Asik has been without an assemblyman for about two years, since the death of DAP's Wong Ho Ling. Despite this, Cebu DAP has been helping Ho Ling's wife, Irene Chang, to resolve the many issues in Bukit Asik, in preparation for her to become the DAP candidate for the first time in this constituency. Uh, like you say, they saw me only as uh, Wong Ho Ling's wife. Uh, I do not blame them because all this time I only serve as Wong Ho Ling's wife. Uh, I hope that from my going around and slowly they will get to know me, uh, to know me what I can do. I want them to vote thinking far ahead what is good for the generation, what is good for the people. Do not think that just because I'm Wong Ho Lang's wife that you have to vote for me. Please don't. However, BN SUPP candidate Cheng Bun Tun feels that his work on the ground compared to DAP's Irene Chang would help give him the winning edge. Yeah, I think there is one of the uh, uh, the reporters must consider about uh, uh, you know yeah, because we are the full-time politician and then although I defeated uh, in the last election but we still work very hard in this area. Residents have many times highlighted the dilapidated condition of houses and poor infrastructure in Bukit Asik to both parties. Besides the economic growth, voters in the Bukit Asik constituency hopes that whichever parties that win the 7th May Sarawak election will not only look into better infrastructure but also help solve the local housing issues. I'm Patrick Chin for The Star TV.